Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kaji Data Online. In this video, I'm going to give you an idea and sharing uh, about the data analysis. So I got here a set of data. So what I'm going to do is basically I would like to extract some of the information from this date into um, a very typical ideas of using the time. So the time functions is very um, crucial and very important. Uh, if you are epidemiologist or if you are environmental health professional because you need to estimate a certain um, ep a certain information from the date especially on the onset date of a certain disease so to do that basically we can extract it from the Microsoft Excel however you might want to learn and understand about how to code it but in this video I'm going to explain to you um, how to use this date and then uh, using the function in the SPSS so that you can extract a multiple function um, for your needs. So the first of all, um, you have the data over here. So I have a data in the Microsoft Excel, if you can see. So based on this uh, data, I'm going to select it. So just um, press the shift command and then um, just highlight everything until the end of the case, which is in this uh, example is 2000 cases as a example of the data so the next um, is basically you are going to paste your data your did data inside the SPSS so when you paste any data with regard to the use of uh, source from the Microsoft Excel of course you are going to see something like this where the variable are going to be indicated as string okay so you have to change to make it not string but to make it as date okay you can just go over here date and then uh, we know already that the configuration will be something like this and then we're going to hit the ok sometimes your SPSS version able to detect it automatically sometimes it will not able to detect it so if it is not able to detect it never mind just preset first your variable and then copy your data just now and then paste it accordingly Okay, after that, um, I'm going to spell it out, the variable here, as date. And then uh, we are going to uh, focus on the manipulation of the date, uh, correspond to a certain ideas um, with, the, with this date. So the first step is go to your transform. And then inside the SPSS, we have the date and time wizard. So the date and time wizard make your life much more easier in terms of creating something calculating something and also extract the information from the date that you have in your data set so i'm going to use this one extract a part of the date or a time variable and i'm going to proceed to continue and i'm going to choose the date over here and then insert it inside the date or time and then i'm going to extract so usually um, epidemiology or environmental health professional we are usually look into the weeks because we want to report the disease in terms of the numbers of the disease for example um, in that particular week so i'm going to click continue and then i'm going to uh, put the result variable as week and then make it label as week of the disease occurrence okay and then you are going to click the done after you click this done button automatically the SPSS are going to extract all of the data that you inserted inside the variable of the date and then it extract it accordingly and create a new column over here or a new variable which is correspond to the week that are possibly very useful for you um, to be using it uh, to use it for your purpose of uh, data analysis okay so now i have the week five and so on so let's say i would like to know uh, the number of the cases uh, in terms of the frequency so i can just go to the frequency and select the week and then i'm going to display the frequency variables and i'm going to click the ok after that um, the week are going to correspond with the numbers and also will give you some ideas uh, about the intensity of the cases uh, happen for the uh, different week for example this one you can see um, the typical highest peak will be um, occur at the week six and then it's declined accordingly so this is a fake data actually but it's give you some insight and idea about how you can 
uh, utilize the extract date functions to make your interpretations and life and your visualization of data much more um, accurate okay um and that is summarize everything about our explanation with regard to the use of uh, date function so remember that um, if you got any data from the microsoft excel you can insert those data uh, in your spss and thus generate the week or extract any part of the date that you are required for your data analysis so i hope this video is very useful if you think that this video is very useful please do like share and subscribe uh, to my channel and if you got any comment with regard to the use of this function which is the transform and then date and time wizard please jot down uh, in the comment sections down there until then see you again next time bye bye and happy learning